Greetings all and welcome to Dave's Craft Room. And in today's video, we will be making a quilt that features two things. The first, if you can't tell, is denim. I've never made a quilt out of denim before and I've wanted to for a long time. So we're gonna make a denim quilt. These are jeans from the thrift store. And then I have more denim here. This is denim uh, fabric from my stash that was originally from jeans. And so we're gonna cut these up and make a quilt. And then the second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have some fun with bias tape. This was my first experiment ever with using bias tape. Obviously the colors are ugly, but I was just using like a scrap fabric from my stash to experiment with bias tape. Uh, and if you don't know, we're gonna show you in the video how to make bias tape or how to do bias tape. Um, but basically, if you cut the fabric on the bias, which means diagonally, and then you fold the edges, you turn the edges under, you will be able to do this with it. You can like bend it, like make curves, and it won't pucker or nothing because of how the way the fabric is. And then we can just kind of applique on top of stuff. They use this for like making swirly fancy designs on some old quilts. They also use this for like flower stems or like vines, but that is for when we have the quilt top done. I've uh, decided on some parameters already. Uh, those being, uh, we're gonna do right angles um, and we're, I'm not gonna include uh, like seams, you know, sometimes you can like put pockets or like stuff like that on it and that kind of adds interest. I've decided not to do that. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna feature any of that. Uh, for this quilt, although that is a good idea to do for future quilts. So this is the strategy. We put the jeans inside the drawer. Mix up. And then we kind of take it out one piece at a time. And uh, cut a square. And sew it up. This way we're using at random. We won't choose what we're using. And we just sew. We have a pile. We cut a square. We sew the square to another square that's the same size. Similar, not the same. And we proceed thusly. Hi, I wanted to check in because I have probably a little over half of the denim top done and uh, this is what it's looking like. Basically, I'm just free piecing um, squares and rectangles and stuff into um, 
blocks which go into vertical strips. Each vertical strip is uniform in width, uh, but they are not uniform in width with one another. It's still gonna have the vibe of the vertical strips that you'll be able to see that those were, it was pieced in that way. Uh, and that's what I'm going for. So I've ordered on Amazon some bias tape making tools, which should get here soon. I'm gonna check back in when the denim part of the quilt top is done and we're gonna make some bias tape and we're gonna do some fancy designs with it. Okay, so I'll check back in soon. So the denim piecing is complete. I think it's gorgeous. I just have to do the next step, which is this. So I'm actually very pleased that these came sooner than Amazon originally said, but these are bias tape making tools and they come in all different sizes. I don't actually know what this hook is for, but, um, we're gonna show you how to use them. They're measured in metric. So this one says 18 millimeters, which that's like five eighths. So a little more than half an inch. I originally wanted half an inch one. So I'm gonna use the five eighths. So let's try it. Let's do our first go. Um, this is the glue. The glue is basically for basting. Once I um, make the bias tape, then I'm gonna glue it. This is washable, it washes out to the quilt before I sew it on. That's essentially basting it on the quilt. What design am I even doing, by the way? Squiggly lines. You can't see what happens on my ironing table. You can only see what happens on the cutting board, which I always feel like is more interesting. But um, in this case, this isn't the case. We need to iron on this surface, so I'm gonna I will cut the fabric, then I will move the cutting board and uh, I'll put, lay something out on here so that I can iron on top of here. So I'm gonna do that. The way you make bias tape is you shove the end of the strip of fabric into the large end of the bias tape maker, feed it through the center, and the bias tape maker is going to fold either edge into the center, and then you iron it as it comes out the other side.
All right, so I realized what it needs. This is the um, what it looks like now. And I really dug the um, asymmetrical look of it. And I sat here for half an hour trying to figure out what to do, whether I should keep going with making strips or call it done. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some more strips to this bottom corner and then have a wide patch in the middle that's blank. I think that's gonna look, make it look more like intentionally rendered rather than making it look like I quit halfway through. And I'm gonna dig, I'm just gonna do three and I'm gonna dig the uh, asymmetric look of it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I need to make more bias tape because I ran out, but that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, that's the move. So this is the whole denim top. Uh, I came up with a name for it and I like it. It's asymmetrical, it's wavy, it's this and that, and I like it. So a lot of people when they make denim quilts, they do not put batting in it because the denim is already so thick. But however, I am gonna put batting in it because I want it to be even thicker. And then this is the flannel I'm gonna use for the back. I have four yards of this, that should be enough. Um, that's going to be the back, and that piece of fabric right there is going to be the binding. I think it's going to be like a, it's not going to stick out because it's like blue, but it's like, it's just not going to stick out, which I don't want it to. So yeah, let's do it. So this is February Get Ink. He's named after a poem by Boris Pasternak. That's all for today's video. Thank you for coming to Dave's Craft Room and please come again.